are in the front pages of every newspaper and magazines in town, and most of all, with the king. Oh, Rose. God, we are stars. This is so good. I'm proud. Has mother seen this? I'm sure she has. She actually asked me to go and get them. Mm. He's so handsome. He is not only handsome, he is rich and very influential. Mm. An alluring smile with the perfect teeth structure in between rosy lips. Ooh, I'm tempted to devour him with kisses right now. He's such a bore. Excuse me! <laughs> What is he doing here? Louisa, don't start. Don't start? Don't tell me you're falling in love with him. Louisa, I'm in love with him. You're in love with a school teacher? He also owns a bookshop. Mother is not going to like this, you know that, right? <gasps> he can't even take care of you. Excuse me. Hi. I'll be upstairs. So, wasn't I looking beautiful? Yeah. Oh, 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 push! 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 Fret not your heart, your majesty, for by the favor of the gods, all shall be well. Your words are soothing to the heart, Ajipon, but more soothing shall be the feel of my seed clenched in my arms. But until I'm greeted with that gracious sight, I shall do nothing but worry. Push, the baby is near and coming, but you need to gather all the strength you can to give me one more push. Please, push, push. <laughs> Push one more time. Go, go, go. Push. 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 Oh, God. As much of our Lord, please help me. A son is what you wished of the gods, and they, in their graciousness, has granted your wish. Would you now deny the king and the kingdom of an heir to the throne? Come on, push! 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 push. push. Prince!
Your Majesty. Flip your tongue and fill my ears with the wishes of my heart, Jipong. For behold, the drummers await a melody, the dancers a tune, and the kingdom for a feast to herald the birth of the prince. Your Majesty, let the drummers put away their drums, and the women in stiffened hips, each one return home. It was another still birth. For his breath ceased immediately he was born. Oh my God, you're sweet and beautiful, more like a new sprung rose, you know? Thank you. Do you love me? Above all else, baby, because of you, you're me with life. Listen, tell me the truth. Do you really love me? Rose, think of love as a state of grace. You know, the means to anything but the end of ends. Nothing is more difficult than love, friend. Do you agree with me that marriage is not just about making babies, but about stability and happiness, and that wealth plays an important role in marriage? I know, darling. This is why I'm working so hard. Stop deceiving my sister, Clint. Besides, your frequent visit in this house is becoming very unseemly. It's none of your business. Oh, shut up, fool. This guy has more girls in his heart than a whole house. His dreams of you are nothing good but to get him between your thighs for his own selfish pleasures. Louisa, love justifies anything and everything. At my age, it's ridiculous, but at yours, it's revolting. Nothing but illusion. Clint, use the door. The only thing that hurts me is that I don't have enough strength to give you the beating you deserve. What did you just say? He said, the only thing that hurts me is that I don't have enough strength to give you anything you deserve. That is for being so rude and very, very disrespectful. Clint, you stop. I hate you for this. Same here. Has His Majesty been informed that I await his presence at the meal table? Yes, my queen. But I fear that His Majesty will not be joining you. And why? As it seems, my queen, His Majesty has already had his meal in his chamber. Put away the dishes. Why have you come to me? For three nights now, Your Majesty. 
You have neither come to my chambers nor beckoned me to yours. I wish to know in what manner I have offended the king. This king is no fool, Sewa. This king is not swallowed up in the fruitless passions of his flesh. This king takes no delight in a barren queen. Cruel and hurting are your words, my lord. I dare you say you're not being fair to me. And who was to me when by the bounds and chains of tradition I took you, being my brother's widow, as my wife? I restored you to honor and glory as my queen, and all I ever required of you was an heir to the throne. Is that too much to ask of you, Sewa? Is it? Be gone. Do I need the will of the spirits to remind you of Japan that the more protracted this case becomes, the more disparaging are the doubts raised on my ability to rule the kingdom? Your Majesty, the words of the throne are comprehensible. Indeed, the issue at stake is very, very sensitive. The lives of our people could be marred or made by the resolutions we make here. I beg the indulgence of the throne to try cautiously. Send out a summon with the royal seal. I require as a matter of utmost urgency that those who scuffle in strife be brought before me by the break of dawn. May your will be done. So, uh, I am not drunk in wine. Neither am I bewitched in foolishness that I should unknowingly request your presence. Leave this instance. Leave! It is not being in the presence of the king that I seek, but that of my lord and husband. For even if I'm bound to obey the voice of the king, shall I also tremble at the sight of he who stares at my nakedness? The husband in me is dead, Sewa. I'm nothing more than a king. A king who will punish every act of disobedience and bring to justice every transgressor. Leave this minute before I pronounce a judgment of wrath upon you. Even if it be by the gallows or the sword, I shall gladly face my death, Your Majesty. But all I ask is for my voice to be heard. One more word from your mouth, sir, and your voice shall be heard from hell. Leave. The king is in fury, and the palace is blistering red. The absence of an heir to the throne is evidently threatening the royal union, and to make matters worse, the queen has just lost another child. My goodness. The obsession of the king having an heir to the throne is drawing him to insanity, and it won't be long before he seeks solace in a mistress. That sounds distressing. Oh, not in his entirety, my dear Miss Say. There is something, an actuality, in ambitious men like us. You see, there is something positive about it all. I don't quite follow. What is positive about a king losing a child? I'm not talking about the king losing a child. I'm talking about the king seeking a mistress. Now, my dear sister, boss. And imagine all the potentials this will bring us if we could find a young girl from our family to fill that vacuum of a king's mistress. And if we play our cards well, the king's wife, the queen. Oh, think. Imagine the enormous wealth, power, prestige it will bring us. Most especially if she ends up bearing the much sought after son for the king. And her to the throne, my dear. While I perfectly come to this ridiculous ambition, 
You sound like you already have a young girl in mind. Oh yes, I certainly do. Certainly. But then again, the choice is not entirely mine. Now, let me ask you, my dear sister, if you should choose between the two girls, who do you think will be fit for the king? Spare me the insults, Achibon. Just spare me. There's nothing wrong with it. A lot, my dear brother. How could you ever contemplate having my daughter parade herself before the king? That's the most ridiculous, ambitious idea I've heard in ages. Ah, uh, I'm wishing you know the benefits this will accrue with us. It will bring us immense wealth and put us in an esteemed position and favor. Why can't you see beyond material benefits, Ajipon? How would you consciously sacrifice my daughter's honor on the altar of selfish ambitions? My sister, think. Think. Those girls are my nieces, and I am the uncle. You should never let the crown be at stake. Save the kingdom is come. Stand for the kingdom of Christ. Gracious morning, son. Gracious morning, mom. What burdens your heart? What is it that fuels your thought? I need another bride, mom. A mistress, if you like. A woman to give me a male child. An heir. It gladdens my heart to see such wisdom deposited on a young shoulder. Tell me not, my son. I am solidly behind you. Happy birthday. Today is the first day of the rest of my life. Mother, what do you wish for me? Behind long life, I wish that you would crown your royalty with another bride. In that, my heart will soar like the eagle. Then I shall tarry not, but begin my search for a worthy one. Ah, do not search too far, my son, for I will parade maidens before you this day, and you will make one of them your bride and queen. I desire to kiss your ring. Save the kingdom, is here lies the kingdom, the king in his wisdom, the beauty and the splendor, it's a great, it's a great, so great, power and the glory, his mighty was beholding upon his robe. I shall have some mates prepare you for the day. Save, save, save. lies the kingdom, the king in his wisdom, the beauty and the splendor. Who is he? I'm talking to you. Who is he? He's just a friend. Now you listen carefully. Poverty is a comicable disease. If you make friends with the poor, be sure of becoming poor in life. The most you can get to is to be average. If you make friends with the rich, be sure of becoming rich and influential, and that's the principle of life. Love justifies anything and everything. I'm in love with him. You are in love with who? A common school teacher? A shopkeeper? Now you listen carefully. The man you must date must be a thousand times richer than I am. Mother, all I desire in marriage is happiness and stability. One I found in Clint. If this is madness, then get prepared, because I'll send you to the mental home. Mother, why are you doing this to me? Why are you hampering my joy? Why are you hurting me? All I'm doing is to protect you. Ever since your father died, you girls are all that I have. A daughter is a jewel, a crown. You're too beautiful to become a third class person. There are many fishes in this city who are wealthy and influential. I am in love with him. At your age, love is an illusion. 
All I'm doing is to protect you. From what? Love? Affection? Care? Mother, they're my heart yearnings. They're all I desire. You are grounded. From today onwards, no more visitors. I'm delighted by your acquaintance, my heart merry. My eyes brighten to see you, beautiful and noble faces that have come to celebrate with me. I honor you all. Because if there's no you to bow and worship to my honor, there shall be no me. I love you all. And I'm proud to be the king of the Dwala kingdom, the kingdom of peace. Today, my mother setting before me daughters, maidens of the soil, that I may pick a bride, the future queen of this kingdom. So if it be the wish of the gods that I find a bride, then so be it. Thank you. As an adage goes, like father, like son, may I now present before you the maidens of this kingdom. Your Majesty, my fathers, I greet you all. Your Grace. You're beautiful. Thank you, my Lord. So tell me, what are you called? Adwa, Your Grace. Adwa, if you become the queen of this kingdom, what will be your duties? Your Grace. I will perform the duties of a mother to my subjects. I will honor my husband and stand by him in all his decisions. Thank you. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. My fathers, I greet you all. Your Grace. You are a true beauty. I'm so delighted by your words, Your Grace. What are you called? Ophabia, Your Grace. Hmm. Ophabia, there is a tent, like a cave. So unpleasant, but yet a bitter pill we must all swallow. What is it? Grave, Your Grace. I'm indeed impressed by your nobility. Thank you, Your Grace. Good day. And how are you? I'm fine, Madam. You are? Clint. I understand you've seen my daughter Rose. Yes, for some months now. Some months? I see. You see, Clint, when my husband died, I set my eyes on one goal. Turn my daughters into great ladies and eminent personalities. I've spent all of labor for making sure of this goal. And to think that all I've fought for all these years will go to no avail. I can kill for that. Madam. I have come politely to ask you to stay away from my daughter. Have you spoken to her? It's a matter for the heart. And it will be decided by a mother. Well, I can't answer now without knowing what she thinks. I swear to God, I could kill for my daughter's sake, you know? With due respect, madam, there is no greater glory than dying for love. I love your daughter. In this marry her. Stay away from my daughter!
We wish to deliver it for a while. Mother and son. So tell me, son, which of the maidens suits your heart? It might interest you to know that despite the beauty and nobility of the maiden parade, I couldn't find anyone that suits my heart. What? Son? Mother, you will have to give me more time to search for my bride. I would like to say something. In my experience, when someone says this, it is bound to be unpleasant. You're heartless, you You're mean and wicked. What has Glenn done to you? I can remember months back when you brought him into this same house singing and chanting praises for him. Saying all sorts of nice things about him. But today you detest him just because you took liking to me. I see you have lost your respect for an elder sister. You don't deserve it. Will you both be quiet here? Yeah? Now get into your rooms. Hello. Hi. I took her close to the dry cleaners. We'll be ready tomorrow. Oh, okay. Okay, bye. Louisa, mother, an opportunity for you to succeed and to secure yourself and this family's incalculable wealth and position has surfaced. What is it, mother? What are you talking about? The king of Bidwala is paying as a royal visit. What? And I'm sure he must have taken liking to you. Come. Now I've discovered the reason for my existence. Come on. The king is a noble man of honor. With mistresses at his beck and call. Don't fall for that. Why don't you see the bright side, Rose? It's a great honor to be a mistress of a noble king. And we mustn't lose this opportunity. But then again, mother, what if he's only coming here on a courtesy visit? No man visits a home of beautiful maidens without any interest. I'm sure he must have admired you. Mother, when are you going to start seeing your dreadful ambition as greed and not as virtue? Will you keep your mouth shut? You must be happy to have a mother who cares. Risk nothing to gain a lifetime opportunity. Wrong, mother. She's standing the risk of losing her feminine pride. Well, that I'm willing to lose to a man of such caliber, not to the likes of Clint. And when he finishes with you, your reputation will be ruined. Let me remind both of you that this house is nowhere near royalty. Who just used and dumped you? But then I must have been connected to a first-rate life. Kendiola is a great noble man, and lots of women and press men will be interested in his affairs. Rose, I will play along. Okay. Think of the favors this will restore upon us. Besides, mother, it's going to cost a fortune to get this house ready for a royal visit. Don't worry about that. Mother, thank you. Oh, my God. 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 Sure, I would. <laughs> well then, get ready for a royal maid of honor. <laughs> 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 
You're looking beautiful. Oh. You remind me so much of my late mother. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> right, I'm going to take some photos. Look at her. Yep. Isn't okay. she looking beautiful? Yes, yes. You sure? Oh, you think the dress is right? Yeah, everything fits. Is okay, and, 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 and everything's fine. Yeah, yeah, the accessories. Oh, oh, mother. Oh, yeah. Oh, happy. Oh, happy. Oh, happy. Hail your majesty. Wake me up, the night is done To the rising sun Go away, my tears be I the fool is so blind, cannot see the space in between. Heart of a fool is. Hey, yeah. Come you faithfuls of the land, I greet you. Said the kingdom is come. Oh, come ye nobles, arise to you, king. Said the kingdom is come. Oh, let the symbols announce to you, said the kingdom is come. And the piper shall pipe away you fear. Say the kingdom is come. Here lies the kingdom. King is wisdom. Beauty and the splendor. It's a great, it's a great, so great. Power and the glory. His mighty was beholding. Upon his royal servants will save, will save, save, save. Welcome to my home, your majesty. Thank you. Your Grace. Special is the home of the land and evil. Crown Goddess, you look splendid in that outfit. Thank you very much. I made it especially for this occasion. I'm glad you like it. I'm highly honored. Thank you, Your Grace. This way, please. After you. It's a great, it's a great, so great. Power and the glory, his mighty was beholding. Upon his royal servants will say, will say, say, say. May I serve you, Uncle? Oh, you may serve uh, the Crown Goddess. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Rose, 
What other talent is it that you have, apart from your physical beauty? Poetry, perhaps? No, singing. So then, sing for me. I'm not in the mood. Would you deny the request of a king? Do me the honor. Okay, I'll try. But I really don't have a nice voice. <clears throat> Do re mi fa so la ti do. <laughs> Have I made your wish, my king? Bravo. Tell me, Rose, what do you desire in a man? Wealth. Fame. Pressures of stone. All of that perishes with time. Love is not for sale. Not the glitters of gold, or the precious diamond stones, or silver is worth an exchange for love. Good virtue, I must say. No. No. Simply modest. Virgin. Proudly, yes. No man has ever felt the softness of my body or pressed his lips against mine in pleasure. So then, what is your price? Love. That she has already given to a very nice looking gentleman who she's very much in love with. True. Yes. Well, I, on the other hand, I'm looking for true love too, and hoping that someday I will give mine out too. Very well then. I must ask your permission to take your daughter on my pleasure site. Granted, Your Majesty. about what was what about you know damn well what I'm talking about I don't and can you please keep your voice on the people out there I saw you Rose I saw you flirting with the king what he heard me listen Louisa I don't know what you're talking about you're really getting edgy here besides you're not even married to him yet <laughs> oh I see so now you're getting very offensive Look, Louisa, he only smiled at me and all I did was smile back. Well, the next time he smiles at you, wear a frown. Show me the queen who happens to be my mother. Welcome. Good afternoon, Your Majesty. Good afternoon, young lady. 
Can I make a royal acquaintance? It will be the honor of the throne. I'm Sandy. And I am Queen Sewa. Do you have a daughter, Your Majesty? Yes, I do. Where is she? Standing right here in front of me. Hmm, I see. Why didn't you do me fit to pick her up from the airport after two years in England? The Queen apologized. Well, the princess accepts. You're cold, Mummy. She's not too well. She's been feverish for a while. But she'll be fine. She just stays in there. Oh, Mummy. Take my hand, Mummy. I have summoned both of you for a specific reason. It's important that what is about to be said here is said. More important it is for it to be perfectly understood. In everything and anything, the progress of this family is paramount. And that, in my estimation, should be foremost in your minds. It's no news that we endeared Louisa to the king. But the news is, the king in his own wisdom prefers another. Prefers another? Yes, prefers another. But fortunately the king hasn't gone beyond the borders of our family. Holiness wisdom does the king prefer to me? Well, can someone at least have the courage to give me an answer? The king has found grace in the eyes of your sister Rose. It is obvious that you have made a deep impression on the king. He has requested that you should go on a date with him. A date? No, mother, it should be Louisa, not me. I don't want to start a journey that heads nowhere. I do not consider it as a request. There is no option here. It's an honor every woman will kill to have. I thought you had ambition for this family. Excuse me.
Louisa. What? What is it? Cut the pretense, Rose. Cut the pretense and unveil your massacre and stir into the nakedness of your deceit. Bitter as you are in your heart, you must know that you're treading on the wrong path. I never intended for any of this to happen. <sighs> it would only take a fool to believe this. You know, my heart holds no guilt and neither is my conscience pricked. Of course. All you've done is to gratify your treacherous desire to grace the king's bed, isn't it? I'm amazed at you. If you had any inch of decency, you know that your anger ought to be directed at the king. Well, I do not hold anything against the king. I will trade fist with the whore who has betrayed me with the bond of sisterhood. For this betrayal, I will label you an eternal enemy. Now get out of my sight. What are you still standing here for? Get out of my sight! Move! Oh! Your Majesty. Speak. I was but a child when my father sat upon the throne. But yet, my mind was awakened to the fact that my father ruled this kingdom in fairness and honesty. There was never an instance where he was found wanting in judgment or in matters relating to the kingdom. Dodwala prospered and all was well. Suddenly, death struck. And while the kingdom was thrown into mourning, Destiny in the cause of tradition stares the throne in your path. But not only did you ascend the throne, you also did have my mom in marriage. A decision I came to regret. A decision I found unreasonable, Your Majesty. I never understood, and I still don't. Traditions are not meant to be understood. They are meant to be obeyed. Why have you come before me? I want you to strip my mother of her crown, and together we shall leave this kingdom. And why? Like they say, what an old man sees, sitting down, a child will never see even if he climbs the Iroko. But I dare say, what a child sees crawling on all fours, an old man will never see even if he were to lie on his belly. My mother lives in sorrow and pain. It brings tears to my eyes to see her in so much hurt. And I can only wish that my father was still alive. Grant me my wish, I pray you. And we shall both leave this kingdom in a fortnight. But then if you refuse it, I shall return to England and never step a foot in this kingdom again. Your wish is refused. <laughs> Hi, Louisa. Are you okay? I'm surprised you aren't at the palace already. Having second thoughts about the king? I will not be forced into another battle of words with you, Louisa. How nice. But I'm sorry to disappoint you that I'm not impressed by your vicious show of calmness. Rose, you have never wanted to see me happy. This is the first time in my life that I wanted something so bad. And just when I thought I had it all clutched in my arms, you just appeared from the dark like the serpent that you are and, and what you come. <laughs> I can't believe this. For the first time in my life, I'm with a man, a man that I'm so happy with. And what does my sister do? She just appears and you're going nuts. Oh, shut up, I won't. <gasps> you want to fight? You want to fight, huh? Why don't you throw your fist? Let's fight for the heart of the king. You know what honor would that bring us if we fight over a man? Oh, quick the pretense, Rose. That is not just any man. He's the king. A king that any woman will give up everything for just for the glitter of his crown. Louisa, why is there so much hate in you? Oh, shut up.
I hate you. I swear to God, I hate you more than anything in this world. You scared me. Is that a piece for the wicked? I beg your pardon? Cut the pretend rules. Anyways, thank you for playing your way with virtuous words into the king's heart. You did a brilliant job. But then again, what pride has a sister who has betrayed another? I have betrayed no one, sister. Neither you nor the blood that binds us together can hold me to any sin. Oh, cut the pretense, Rose. The king was already falling in love with me. All you did is slip your way into his heart. You do not love the king. You just accepted him for his wealth, fame, and the crown that rests upon his head. And what are you after? The grace that rests upon his heart. Fame and crown cannot be separated with royalty. That even your deceitful hearts can tell. I differ, Louisa. My interest in him is the meekness of a man in love. That I see in his eyes. <laughs> you should never let the crown be at stake. Save the kingdom is come. Stand for the kingdom of rise to your faith. Save the kingdom is come. For the kingdom is come to be here. Save the kingdom is come. Save and save. Rose, the king awaits you. I know, mother. Louisa. It should be you in my place. I told you, do not concern yourself with me. Just remember that the stench of betrayal can never be quell. I can never forgive neither you nor mother for this. Don't worry. I'll talk to her. I'm not in the mood anymore, Mother. I don't want to go out. But you can do that now. The king is already here waiting. Louisa's in love with him. But the king is in love with you. Mother, this is really hard for me. Inasmuch as I'm trying to embrace it, I can't. Louisa's breathing down my neck. She sees me no less than a traitor. Don't worry. I'll talk to her. You have to be going. But I don't want to go.
thanks to my father, the great king of the Dwala Kingdom. Rose. Your Majesty. When you stare so deep in my eyes, what do you stand to achieve? The eyes are the way to the heart. So what do you see? A purity of heart. A virtuous woman. What do you desire of me, my king? Everlasting fidelity. Long-lasting love. Rose, will you do me the honor of marrying me? My king, please give me some time. Too much time has passed, Rose. But my sister is in love with you. But I do not love your sister. It is you I want. I'm in love with another. Please do not rush me into a decision that will stare back at me in no time like the spare of an enemy. I don't want to regret my knowing you. How painful is it to fall for a woman that loves another? It's like a stab in the heart. I'm sorry, my king. I'd like to leave now. I'll take you home. I choose to go alone. I insist. Please. Do not hold me back against my wish. I have never been refused a request. I'm sorry, my king. I never meant to hurt you. Please forgive me. already fall in love with her and you should be happy for your sister. Well, I would never be happy for her, mother. Never! The king was already falling in love with me. I could see it. I could, I could read it right through him. Rose knew exactly what she was doing. I would never forgive her for this. Never, mother! How did it go, Rose? Tasteful and sour. How do you mean? Well, he proposed. And? I told him I can't. Why? Because I'm in love with someone else, Mother. Clint. The heart of a wretch is no place for a crown goddess. Torns fuse hatred out of me because many things will go very wrong. I want you to go and apologize to him. Why, mother? Why don't you just let her be? Come on, stay out of this. Look, if I were you, I'd do exactly what my heart tells me. Huh? 
Rose, you are my daughter. I'm pleading with you to do this for me. Please. I can't. I'm sorry, Mother, but I can't. Excuse me. Your Grace. Gracious morning. I'm honored. I seek to have Rose before my presence. Your Grace. Crown Goddess. Beautiful robes. You are the one chosen among multitude. My heart bleeds for you, Rose. I'm losing my breath of life. Why are you doing this? Love. Please do me the honors of accepting my ring. My vow for eternal fidelity and everlasting love. I give you the right to speak to my mother. Granted. Now the lonely part of my life has passed. I count the same eternal minutes one by one as I wait for this day. I stood vigil day and night. My heart, like the sea, endless and everlasting. Even while it was as turbulent as the crashing wave, I waited to fix my bridal banner on your finger. Now I delegate authority for you to run my heart. Excellent. Bravo. Beautiful poem. <laughs> and why did student change of mind? I've been engaged to another. I knew. It was going to come to this. But you don't love him, do you? I'm afraid he yes. I do love him. What about me? Clint, I just realized that I don't love you. What happened between us is nothing but illusion. You clouded my eyes. And I'm sorry. Did you see you just realized? Yes. And who is this guy you're seeing? The king. King Duala. What an influence. 
world has got over love. Don't say that, Clint. I am not a seller of love. My love is not for sale. You sold it, Rose. You sold it. You have been influenced by your mother and sister. I hate the way you're talking to me. And I hate to admit you are a seller of love, Rose. Goodbye. Know that you're celebrating today will go as swiftly as it came, mother. You are the replica of a sweet devil. Mm. Your sister will accompany you to the palace. I hope I'm not the one. Louisa, you are accompanying your sister to the palace. I'm afraid I won't. What? I will have nothing to do with the sister of mine or the pervious king. I've decided to leave town. I'll go by Auntie Vicky's place in Nigeria. That decision does not rest with you entirely, my young lady. In this circumstance, it does. I forbid you to speak to me in that manner. What do you need me for? After all, we have our queen to grace a king's bed and bring home the much talked about honor and prestige into this family. In this scheme of situation, I consider myself irrelevant. Louisa! Have you no interest for this family? Oh, you mean your interest? I beg your pardon? Well, carry on in your facade of pretense and use your daughters as a ploy to get a bite of royalty. Excuse me. You really don't have to leave. I detest you and I forever will. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mighty was beholding upon his royal sovereign who say, who say, say, say. The shine is the hope of the land. Absolutely. The king is sure, but a king is the kingdom is coming. All the worries of the heart, all the pain, said the king is coming. The sun will shine again, said the kingdom is coming. Rose? Excuse me. Mates, meet your new boss. Thank you. So, how do you find it? Courtesy of the King, His Majesty. All because of you, my dear. Yes. And in addition to this, he has given me the title of Udvumbura of the kingdom. He's given me two acres of land, a car, and a huge sum of money that he promises to triple if only you can bear him a son. And to justice, he has given you authority to oversee all his interests in Accra and in Kumasi. Imagine the huge sum of money that will be at your disposal. And lastly, to cement our family relationship, 
He has offered to give you Cecilia his niece for marriage. <laughs> no, 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 Uncle, no. <laughs> I mean, it could be any other girl, but not Cecilia, Uncle. Just shut up and stop talking nonsense. What do you know? Marrying that girl Cecilia will solidify our ties with the royal family. Doesn't that please your ears? Uncle, what is there to be pleased about? These are just Greek gifts from the king just because we're in his good books. Let anything change and we'll see in his fury. Why is it difficult to handle your kids? Do you sincerely want an answer to that, mother? Esther, put your kids to order. Majesty. Oh, I do need to introduce myself. No. Have you no respect for a queen? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I understand you are Rosa Japan. The latest distraction my husband has endeared himself to. But I must say, he does take his time to make choices. Regardless of how unpleasant and horrid they are. I must say, you are nothing but a distraction, just like all the others he has had before. He intends to wake up abruptly from them and return to his primary responsibility of governing the kingdom. So you see, my dear, I am not offended by your presence at all. I only feel immense pity for you. Nevertheless, I must welcome you to the palace. A place where dreams are born and killed. Do not reproach the queen by her words or actions. She evidently knows you were brought in here to be her husband's mistress. And your age and beauty does nothing but help heighten her fear. Anyway, she's a good woman if you get to know her. You're welcome. May I ask Lady Rose in, Your Majesty? How is she doing? Gorgeous, Your Majesty. Bring her in. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. My crown of honor. I am no queen, your majesty. You are a beauty. A crown. Then I'm honored. Please, make yourself comfortable. So, this is where the king of the dweller sleeps. Yeah. It's beautiful. Make yourself comfortable. The light. Why? I'm shy, Your Majesty. Ah, oh, this is your first time, I suppose. Second time, Your Majesty. So then, you lied to me. Your Majesty, 
You didn't expect me to let my family know that I was not a virgin. That would be disrespect for your majesty. Sorry. You have a beautiful smile. Thank you. Can I have a kiss? It's been confirmed by the doctor, Your Majesty. She's pregnant. Rose's weakness is not to her advantage in any way. She'll have little or no time to spend with the king. It won't be long for the king to switch his attention back to the queen or any other maiden. What do we do, ma'am? We must try to keep the king in our favor by all means necessary. Yes, ma'am, but until Rose put to bed. I don't know how this will go with you, but I was also thinking of Louisa. She can come in handy in times like this. It will require a lot of convincing to put her to it. We must do what we can, ma'am. We must. The pizza. When did you arrive? Much earlier in the afternoon. When I go in your sleep, please excuse us. You proved me wrong by coming. I was begged to come. All the same, you're here now. Come give me a hug. I missed you. <laughs> wow, look at you. Come, sit down. How have you been? Okay. You have a stomach now. Yeah. It's really stressful. <laughs> <sighs> I'm so happy. I missed you. <laughs> Said the kingdom is come. Said the kingdom is come. Save the kingdom is come. Lion of the Dweller, powerful in strength, great in deed, and wise in leadership. See how it prowls along its pride, protecting its own like a vicious god, and yet a loving mother. Brilliant in words, fearless in battle, compassionate in soul, and merciful at heart. A great lion, a great king whose chronicles will echo in eternity. I'm on it. Thank you, Your Majesty. 
She was simply magnificent. That is where she thrives the most, caring attention. Oh, come on, she's doing all that to protect your interest. I know Louisa Justice. She'll do everything except to protect my interest. Your Majesty. Uh, are you okay? Um. Yeah. I'm. Um, oh God. I'm. I'm just. Uh, I'm just a bit dizzy. Need my help? Oh no, Your Majesty. Um. I'll be fine. Are you sure? I'll manage. I really appreciate you, Karen. Thank you. Oh. Louisa? Yes, Your Majesty. Are you the one that requested for my presence? Yes, I did. Well then. What is it? A gift from His Majesty to you. A gift from His Majesty? To me or my sister? A gift from His Majesty to you. Name? Lady Louisa. Well then, can I see it? <gasps> wow. It's lovely. Close it. Take it back to His Majesty. Excuse me? I said... Return it to His Majesty. This is unheard of. I don't care. Just do as I have ordered you to. Now. She refused your gifts, Your Majesty. She did? She did, Your Majesty. Then send them back. Your Majesty. Where have you been? Around? Just preoccupied with busy duty stuff. Mm. Duties such as caring attention to yourself, including that of the kink. For a woman in your condition, you speak with so much bile in you. It could be very unhealthy for your baby. Don't worry about my baby. I'm worried about the deceit I see in you. 
Worry about your deceit, Rose. Time they say heals all wounds. I still have fresh in my memory the fact that you stole the king's love away from me. That's a popular creed of pity. Indeed it is. A gift from his majesty. I see. Let me have it. The king's orders were that the gifts be given to Lady Louisa. Then take it back to the king. Tell him that I have refused it. Now. Destiny, they say, can sometimes be delayed, but it can never be denied. Have all the rest you can have, Rose. Said the kingdom is here lies the kingdom. The king aim is wisdom. The beauty and the splendor is the great. It's the great, so great. The power and the glory. His mighty was beholding upon his royal servants who we'll say, who we'll say, say, say. She refused it, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. I take it that you didn't like the gift I sent you. On the contrary, Your Majesty. I loved it very much. So then, why do you insult and dishonor me by sending them back? Your Majesty, you insulted my person by sending me gifts when my sister who carries your baby lies in maternity. If you want to make me happy, you have to send her gifts first. Rose has experienced the fullness of my generosity. Now, I truly wish to extend that to you. Please, Your Majesty. Why the sudden interest in me? Change. Change. Change, Louisa. You're beautiful. But you chose my sister above me. And now I'm making a change. I feel you, my king. But I can't. You feel me? I don't deny that. But there's nothing we can do about it. I will never betray my sister. Never. Let me decide that. Louisa, give me a chance. Stop it! 
Majesty, excuse me. Who is that? Your Majesty, excuse me. Your Majesty, she is strong, and as you can hear, she is still on it. Uh, have a seat, His Majesty. Your Majesty, it's a son. A son? 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 Finally, an heir to the throne. A son. It's a great son. It's a great son. kept me waiting. I'm going to go straight to the point and make this as short as possible. I'm listening. Rose jilted you for money, you know that, right? Of course, I know. Well, I want you to call her and lay claims on her child. Tell her the child is yours. Lisa, can you tell me the name of this game you tried to play? Just don't ask questions. It's really simple. I'm not asking you to kill anyone. Look, this is 10,000 Ghana seeds. It's 50% of the amount of money I can give Lisa, I'm sorry. Look, this is fifty percent of ten thousand Ghana seeds. Do you know what you can do with this money? That's a lot. You can turn your life around. You can do something with your life. Lisa, I can't. Leave my family out of this. I can handle them. Take this money. Give me a call when you've made up your mind. Okay? So tell me about it. Oh, I loved it. Perfect size. Mm-hmm. You feel he's a big boy now? Yeah, he is. He's got two big balls. Hello? 
call Lisa. Yeah. Please a call now. Okay. Mm -hmm, now, this very minute. How do you do And he looks exactly like you. Just like his father. Hello? Hello, Rose. This is Clint. Congratulations, though, for the safe delivery. But then, when will I see my son? What? What are you talking about? When you and I know the child he just delivered is my son? You are mad! Who is that? No one important. Clint, what is it? I will go any length to get back my child. Better tell to the king, your so-called king right now, that that child is mine. L -l -l listen to me. Let me warn you never to call this line again. Idiot. Are you going to tell me what the problem is and who is Clint? Nothing to worry your head about. What is going on? Your Majesty, I'd like to speak to my mother first. Lisa. She cut the line and she's turned off the phone. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Excuse me, Your Majesty. Um, Rose, Clint just called me. He said he's been trying to reach your phone, but it's off. He's, he's so stupid. Rose, what is this thing he's saying about your baby and... Louisa! Well, can I see you in my room now? Fine. I'll be with you in a minute. Louisa! Your Majesty? What is going on? Your Majesty, we can handle it. Excuse me. Louisa! I demand to know what the problem is. Your Majesty, really, you wouldn't want to know. Okay, excuse me. What is going on, Rose? Your Majesty, please let me speak to my mother first. What is the problem? Your Majesty, please don't worry about it. Your Majesty, you sent for me. Tell me, what is it that your sister is keeping away from me? I don't know what you're talking about. Tell me, what is it that you and your sister are keeping away from me? Your Majesty, I really don't know what you're talking about. Do not lie to me. You damn know what I'm talking about, Louisa. What is it? Your Majesty, I fear you won't like this. Do not put my patience to test. Tell me what it is. It's difficult, Your Majesty. Just spill it. Your 
Your Majesty, someone is laying claims on Rose's child. What? Rose's ex-lover. <sighs> Your Majesty. Calm, Your Majesty. We can work something out. Please, Your Majesty, don't make noise about this. I beg of you. Rose, who's the father of your child? Excuse me? Tell me who the father of your child is. Now. It's yours, Your Majesty. First you lied about being a virgin. Then now the child. I want you to leave my palace right this minute. You and your child. Your Majesty, please believe me. Someone is trying to blackmail me. This baby is yours. I swear on my life. Please. I have spoken. Leave. Your Majesty. We have been looking for a son all these years, and I... I will not go back on my words. But surely, my lord, not when it affects the future of this kingdom, and heir to this throne. I will not go back on my words. If I have a son now, I'll definitely get another. I disagree, your majesty. We've been looking for a son and heir to the throne, and now that the gods have favored us with one, you turn your back against him? I will not go back on my words. I disagree. Your Majesty, I disagree. The throne has no heir. <laughs> I do not question your decision, but... Mother, let us kill this thing and pretend it never happened. What would you think of the kingdom if the cabinet and quarters find out that their most celebrated heir to the throne is not my own blood? Think of the kingdom. Think of what the people will say, especially when they are looking forward to an heir to the throne. Son... We have to be very sure of the fact that... Mother, I do not need any more form of assurance. In an attempt to investigate this, the people will find out. Can't you see? Besides, I don't think Louisa will lie against her own blood sister. My reputation is at stake here. And I think the best is for Rose and the child to leave. Except for Louisa. Louisa? Yes, Louisa. She's won a place in my heart for this singular act of truth. I don't see why you can't see my point. How oh, dare you! Damn you! We have worked so hard for this. And now that we are about to crown our achievements. Achievements? You call Rose giving birth to a bastard on achievements? What's your tongue, Louisa? How dare you call my child a bastard? Oh, what are you doing here? I won't! No, no, no! Uncle, need I remind you that only the queen can give birth to an heir? Oh. The fact is very simple, very, very simple. Your blood sister gave birth to a son for the king, and you made the king turn his back on the son just because of some stupid vow made to you. Now, let me tell you, you better have a plan. And that damn plan better work for this family or else. What? Louisa, you talk back at me? Mark my word, 
your greed will be the undoing for this family. Thank you. Louisa, since you have passed sentence on your own blood sister, what plans do you have for her? It's simple, mother. Rose and her bastard son will be sent to the hinterlands where they'll live in isolation. You're evil, Louisa. What have I done to you? Ask yourself that, Rose. I'm only taking back my pound of flesh. After that, I'll give back to the king what he so much desired, which is a legitimate son, an heir to the throne, not your busted son. Why is this your man? Get me from her coming! Hey! Pay for this. To use your expression, that is a popular creed of pity. the crown of your blood. The cry of your sea. And let your good sense prevail. You have to be strong. I have driven your sister and openly denied her child. Will you now give yourself to me? Knowing your loyalty and love lies with someone else. But it lies with you, my love. No. If it lies with me, you must set her love above me. The queen is above me. Your loyalty is with her. She sits on your right-hand side and carries our state affairs with you. So what would you have me do? As long as she sits on that throne, we can never have our freedom. See, I have to sneak in here to see you like a little girl. How do you expect me to warm up to you, to show my affection to you when I can feel her eyes on me? Louisa, what do you want? Simple. Rip the queen of her queenship. I want her why removed as queen. Your Highness, we know you have unlimited supreme powers to take unilateral decisions. But I implore you to consider the people over who you set Queen Sawa and mandate her to preside over. She has performed creditably well. If you send her away, it will attract a lot of protests. If they want reasons, I'll gladly give them. I want an heir, and it's quite obvious she can't give me one. 
But you, the chiefs, are saddled with the responsibility of quelling any uprising this will bring. I won't be rid of Sewa. You can deliberate all you want. But my words are final. Council are protesting against it. Why? The people will protest against it. The people? Is it the people that provide you an heir? The people are just there for one reason only to be ruled. Your Majesty, do you know the enormous power that you possess? You're a king, and a mighty ruler of the Dweller Kingdom for that matter. Remove her, and nothing will happen. She's done nothing but unable to give me an heir to the throne. I'll simply neglect her and make you all that I desire. You will simply remove her of all her royal rights and send her away from the palace. Your Majesty. All I want is to be able to be free around. I want to be legally married to you, so that someday our children will not be called bastards. Is that too much to ask? You see, when all of that happens, I will give you everything that you so much desired. My body, my spirit, and my soul. to say. Not to anyone, but to my lord and husband. As a wife, I have loved you with all my heart. I've been an obedient wife, loyal to you and the crown. Although I tried to bear you children, but fate decided otherwise. Tell me, if I have wronged you in any way and you think stripping me of my crown as a queen is the rightful punishment, then I will face it. But if not, please, my lord, spare me this humiliation. Thank you. You may leave us to deliberate on this issue. There is nothing to deliberate about. 
I will not go back on my words. Tell me, why do you seek my downfall? In what manner have I offended you that you so desperately seek my throne with the valise of method and scheming? You want me to walk away from my marriage, surrender my throne, deny my daughter the heiress to the throne. You want me to crawl into the life of isolation. You are very, very mistaken. Even if you break every bone, flesh, wreck my whole being to the pit of death, I shall never surrender my throne. For I am Queen Sawa, the first and only wife of King Felis II, mother of the heiress to the throne, beloved of the people, queen of the Duala kingdom, and that, my dear, I will be till I die. I know you have made up your mind, but you are also suffering from it. But I ask, is the loss for what is in between her legs worth destroying our marriage, your kingdom and your soul over? Because she denies you, you are willing to destroy everything you have built. My lord, you are a wise man and a king. I cannot have come to love and adore. Please, I beg of you, spare me this humiliation. But to be born here. The love you've given me can never be taken away. I love you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And I thank you. I thank you, my father. My people <laughs> for loving me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
And now you will give yourself to me. And I made myself clear that that will never happen until we get married. Promise. I have torn my kingdom apart just because of you. I have destroyed my marriage all because of you. And I have caused that whole pain to a good woman just because of you. And I will now take my prize. You don't have to shout. It is my choice to give it or not. Choice? One thing I know for a fact is that you truly love me. So then, be my queen. Sure. God bless Queen Louisa. 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 Get me out of this chains, shame. I'm begging you to get me out of this. I've lost my baby. I don't know what's happening to me. Christ. Oh my God. The king must not find out about this. Because if he does, I'm finished. He just must not find out that I had a miscarriage. Okay, okay, you see, you discuss it with him, okay? Tell him the truth. Perhaps he'll understand. You don't understand. There's no intimacy between the both of us anymore. Then when he finally did, he was so angry. He hated him so he hated me more for making him do it. I don't know. I really don't know. But what I know for a fact is you have to get rid of this woman. Bury it. Bury my shame. Just make it disappear. Okay? Okay, I'll do it. But Louisa, the king knows you're pregnant, okay? I will expect the pregnancy to grow. How are you going to do that? The king must not find out about this. Okay, how are you going to him that the pregnancy is not growing? I don't know. I don't know. Please help me out. Help me become pregnant. What's wrong with you? Are you, are you crazy? Just to see my brother. If I go out there, I run the risk of being blackmailed something. Oh, oh no, I know you're really going mad, okay? What are you, this is incest. Oh, just, just, please 
help me. Help a sister when you know you have all it takes to make it happen. Help me. Help us. Help this family. Please. Do it for me. This is the one time that I've needed you more than anything. Please. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I will go and tell the king about everything. Your Majesty, I'm afraid to say this, Your Majesty. What is it? The, the Queen practice is inside. Are you sure? I'm sure, Your Majesty. I can't lie to you. What is the proof? Your Majesty. Your Majesty, there's something I want to tell you. It's very difficult for me, but I just pray and hope that you find a place in your heart to forgive me. Your Majesty, I... God! Arrest her! And him. What? I can explain. How much do you want to do? I've lost them. Thank <laughs> you. 
I kneel before you and honor you. Please, I beg for your mercy. My sister is a big part of me. And so if her life is taken, you've equally taken my life. Please, I beg for your mercy. You took a risk coming to this palace. Next time you won't be this lucky. Go back. Take your life and take care of your son. And as for your sister, she will pay the price for her crime. Please, your majesty. I beg for your mercy. Please. Go home. I'll send words to you. Could I please see them, Your Majesty? Granted. I've spoken with the king, and he's given his word to do something. Please, just hold on. Everything will be all right. Because we didn't do it. We didn't do it. Because you have to believe me, we didn't do it. But uncle said Cecilia took a photo shot of you and Justice in a romantic mood. But we didn't do it. We just didn't have the hearts to go through with it. Well, she have to believe me. I'm innocent. We didn't do it. But the reason why? How could you think of something like that? I don't know.
I think it's good. The king is personally pressing charges of incest against both of them with very strong evidence. A witness. They'll be going on trial and I just don't know what to expect. For God's sake. Incest. What were both of them thinking about? Oh. Both of you better get them out of this mess. You see what your ambition have dragged you both? You threw your ambition so high and made me your children become like guinea pigs. And you don't get my brother out of this mess. Tears from a river, my rise running in my mouth. From a scream, sound like a whisper. My heart burning in my head, seeing the spin. It's the shame I feel inside. <laughs> After due investigations, questions, and testimonies, we have strong evidence that you, Queen Louisa, and Justice Ajiman have duly committed an abominable act of incest. No. You have brought down the reputation of the royal family. Now, the council, before coming out with judgment, know that you have something to say. Today, I stand here to defend myself for a crime that never really took place. But then I ask myself, what kind of defense would I be putting up when there's really nothing for me to defend for? But I know one day, the truth will surface. Nothing at all. Our names and dignity will be restored. Now, we have heard from Her Majesty, the Queen. Fellow judges, let us do that which is bestowed upon us by our people. Now, what is your judgment? Guilty. 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 With all four judges, comprising of the Council of Elders, with powers vested upon them by His Royal Highness King Felix II, King of Dwala Kingdom, having found both of you guilty, I hereby sentence you according to the law of the land to death.
well. This punishment I'm about to receive is for all the evil that I've done in the past. And I take it in good faith. But I just want to tell the king that my sister's child is really his. And that everything that happened were all my plots. What really hurts me the most is that my brother, who was killed for a crime he knew nothing about, and I ask all of you, So blind and deep. In between, heart of a fool is so dark, and I feel the pain in his grief. It's the shame I feel inside, makes me wanna cry. The pain of life, say me goodbye. Give me a reason to live happily In a fool's paradise All your scheme is to have royalty You're thinking to be wise Wake me up, the night is done To the rising sun Go away, my